Guys, I'm out here. I'm thinking about doing the build, guys. I originally... What? Guys, is this an iguana? Guys, there's an iguana underwater. It has tail marks. So this thing is, I think it's still alive. Underwater. I think it's so cold above water that it's actually staying warm under the water. <laughs> Guys, what? Comment what is happening here. I'm so confused. Hold on, I gotta find a stick or something. Uh, here, I think this might be long enough. Oh yeah, this is longer than I thought. Okay, what the heck? So it's freezing down here, guys. Honestly, it's like as cold as it can get for Florida. It was snowing in Tallahassee. I'm gonna poke this guy. Oh yeah, he's alive. <laughs> Let's, Let's catch, catch them all, all with Catch, catch em all, all Fishing with Zach Ketchum. <laughs> well, it's so cold out here that I guess the iguanas and all these creatures are actually staying in the water because the water temperature is going to stay warmer, warmer than the air temperature and above ground. That's crazy, right guys? <laughs> Alright guys, so I have all this bacon right here and there's the normal fish food. I actually feed my fish bacon a lot when it gets really cold. Um, it's not that hard for them to digest. Where's Shimu? Here you are. Here, big girl. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's real time splashing, guys. And the other fish like it, too. So, I like to feed them these high-fat diets when it's really cold. Put some meat on their bones. Shimu got a nice big mouthful. And now I'm just going to throw that around for everybody else. And everyone's just going to get a piece of that. I'm also going to throw in the regular food. But now the red tail's going to get some of that food. As you can see, he's chomping the, on it. Yum, there you go, big guy. Big old beans, the red tail. These planes won't leave me alone. Stay out of my vlogs, plane. Please, I'm running out of time. As you can see, guys, the sunset is upon us. And I need to make this pond really quick. So everyone's enjoying their bacon. The Paku are ripping it apart. There's one more piece left. They haven't found it, but they're going to find it really quick, aren't they, Shimu? <laughs> Relax, big girl. But so these high fatty diets will keep my fish nice and warm, even during this cold weather. As you guys know, this is connected to the lake and to the bottom pond back into the lake again. So this creek goes down to this, as you can see, creek. What am I saying? <laughs> creek goes down to the creek. Guys, the creek goes down to this river delta that I've created from my own little creek. So what I'm gonna do actually here is kind of create an, its own little ecosystem and pond with the extra material that I was gonna use for a platinum alligator gar pool, but I decided that I just wanted to put him in the lower pond. I wasn't sure how, how big he was gonna be and how he was gonna react with the other fish. So I wanted to make sure I had the supplies to do that. But instead, I'm just gonna make a nice little ecosystem down there and we're gonna have some fun. Maybe throw some new fish in there, see what we can do. Guys, it's such a difference between the air temperature and the water temperature. Guys, all my fish right here, even the peacock bass, when peacock bass get cold, they get discolored. And that peacock bass is 100% bright and colorful. Even this tank's temperature is nice and warm, guys, which means the bottom pond, everyone is nice and warm. And it's all because of this lake right behind me. It's a really deep system. It's really large. And that's what's keeping all my fish and all my exotic fish especially happy and healthy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the excess materials here that I have uh, that I purchased again for the alligator gar just in case this guy which is absolutely magnificent creature Look at this guy. What a magnificent Beautiful creature. I love you We named him white fire because he's like a dragon, you know, and here's the planes. Hi. Want to be part of my vlog? Hey planes, so I have my camera girl behind the camera guys. She's not feeling well, but she's definitely helping us out today So I'm gonna take all these bricks they're just regular cinder blocks. They're really cheap. You can buy them at Lowe's, Home Depot, pretty much anywhere that sells like building materials. And we're going to build a nice little ecosystem kind of estuary kind of for our little bottom, bottom, bottom pond. <laughs> All right, I'm going to feed these guys a little bit more. Get the koi and the pock. We're going to get a couple extra pellets. I don't like to feed the fish when it's too cold, guys. You got to pay attention to this. <clears throat> when it's too cold, you shouldn't overfeed your fish. They can't digest food like normal, like, like human beings or warm-blooded animals. They digest the food based on how hot it is outside, so they'll have a really tough time digesting food. So you barely want to feed your fish at all during these cold temperatures. Right now, the water temperature is still at a high, like 80 degrees, to be honest. I just did a little temperature check in my lake, 
It hasn't been cold for so long, but soon the water temperature is going to drop with the air temperature. All right, guys, I know you're waiting for the merch plug. What's coming right up? Woo! Sun's out, gun's out, baby. We still got a little bit of sunlight. We're about to do some hard work right now. Got to roll up them sleeves. Reallegendneverdie.com. Cop your merch. This is a tarpon one. And guys, we have some hard work to do today to build this thing. So we got to grab each individual cinder block. All right, guys, so we got our tits popping. My nips might be a little extra hard today because it is really cold. But what we're going to do is just grab these one by one. Oh, uh, that's actually pretty heavy. I'm going to grab these one by one. We're going to head on down to this pond. We're going to see how big we actually need to make this thing to have fish live in it. All right, so check it out. Check it out, guys. This is our system. Let me move some of these sticks. We're gonna move some of these sticks around. And this whole area, as you can see, the water from our pond and our whole system has really made its own little ecosystem right here. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw some cinder blocks around it, pad a little sand up upon it. Freaking planes. Yeah! So we're gonna throw our cinder blocks around it. Not too many, but we're just gonna make our own little system. We'll see how this turns out. It should be pretty cool. Okay, so we're finishing up the, our whole little design we have going on here. Ah. Okay, make sure that's cleaned up. I like to give a little excess on each end because we're gonna fill this with sand. I'm gonna dig this out a little bit, this little area. So I'm gonna put one of these bricks a little bit deeper into the sand. So that way it's gonna be like a little waterfall when I put it in, like maybe only a half inch, I'm really digging down. So I can have the brick be a little bit deeper to create some sort of waterfall once I cover the whole thing with sand. So that's just about as deep as I want it to go. And I think that should be good. Perfect. You see how that's just slightly deeper than the other pieces of brick beside it? That's what we want, just this little tiny indent about half an inch an inch deeper than the brick beside it to the left and the right so what i'm going to do now is take the time throw sand in all these pockets and hopefully after the plates hold on, hold on. let me gather myself real just never die we don't shoot down planes dude i'm going to throw all this sand inside all these holes and hopefully what i'm trying to do is have this be its own little pond down here. All right guys, so what I'm doing first is I'm sealing this, these corners with a lot of sand. Try to dig farther away. I kind of dug a little bit too close here, but that should be okay. And I'm just sealing every little crease with sand, just burying it, absolutely. And I'm gonna bury all the bricks too. You can pick up all this stuff, just throw it away later, or just like stack it away, make a pond another day. It's a lot of fun to do. It also helps when you can find some roots in the ground because then the plant life will grow around it. God damn it, dude. Almost done filling up these corners. And then I'm going to fill up everything around this brick. It's getting dark quick though. I'm going to hurry up. Mud it up. Take it down. Mud it up all the way through. So the water only has one place to escape and that's over these walls. That's where we want it to go, right here. So that's what we're doing. Mudding up the corners and the sides. It's a little bit more difficult to do with such a small shovel. I had a larger one, but somebody gave it away. I'm not gonna name names, but you know who it was. Watch out for electrical lines and stuff like that. But you also need really muddy, muddy dirt when you're sealing up the cracks and crevices and corners so the water can't escape through there and the water stopped. It's continuing to come in through here. So now I gotta finish up, sealing up all the edges because water will escape wherever it can. So. Kind of build myself my own little tide pool pond for my own little fish. It's getting late. Here's our excess materials. Guys, you only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Less than 10 cinder blocks to do something like this. You can honestly even do this with sand but it's a little bit more difficult to keep lasting a little bit long. So I'd like to have this long enough to breed some minnows and maybe some goldfish or some like really pretty tetras. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. It took me a little bit of time 
but it was well worth it. Really just never die. We gotta get this outro out before the plane comes, guys. Guys, 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 catch them all. Catch them all. Catch them all. Look at that pond, end of the creek, clearing right up, guys. But the real MVP today was my soft sign shoes. Real legends never die. Looking fire as always, guys, just like the sunset. <laughs> Catch them all.